Okay, there we go. I think it, yeah, there. Okay, all right. So, seven twenty p thirty fps because that way I don't have to have a watermark. And who the fuck needs sixty fps? All right. Okay. So, uh, what is this? This is the storefront, the collection for Black Friday, right? Right. Which you guys totally don't even give a shit over in, in Europe. So, we're gonna go through these games one at a time. So, number one, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. <laughs> Alright, it's just Modern Warfare. With, uh, Infinite Warfare. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. $20 remaster with a $60 add-on <laughs> that you don't have to... You, you can't get around right now. So, there we go. Total game value, three cents. Alright, Black <laughs> Ops 3. That game that you were playing, and now you're not. So, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> Destiny the Collection, the giant fuck you to every shooter fan on the planet. <laughs> it's like, oh, you don't have DLC? Well, <laughs> yeah, you, you don't have you DLC? Pay, no, no, no. DLC. You did pay DLC? You paid line. the hundreds of dollars for this game just to have a storyline? Well, guess what? It's $60. How does that, or $52, sorry. How do you feel now? And there's still no storyline. <laughs> you, you, you got to some moves, though. It still matters, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Doom. The game that's doomed okay. to fail. <laughs> it was a good game. the The campaign was really good. The uh, multiplayer is really fun. Its player base is shit because there's so many other games. Like the beta was awesome, and there were so many people. And then the game came out, and they're like, "Well, you want me to pay sixty dollars for this shit? No, no, no. I'm out, fam. Fuck that. Yeah, we're done. It's good for half an hour. Yeah, but at twenty six forty, okay, that's not a bad deal. I'm not paying eighty dollars in Canada. Like fuck that shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's a good game, but it's not that good. Okay. All right. Elder Scrolls Five Skyrim. Corey, explain Correct. why he, this. Yeah. No. Yeah. This is. Bar you have to tell them why. Armored. Yeah. He paid full price so he could command me of dragons. But, uh, it's not just mod. Yeah. Come <laughs> here, Everybody. <laughs> yeah. Worth. <laughs> Hundred pounds minimum price. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely worth thousand dollars. People spend hundreds of thousands of hours in this game. This dude wants it for twenty five minutes. No problem. Twenty yeah, twenty five minutes of gameplay wrapped up under a forty dollar price tag. Yeah. Yeah. Well, alright. <laughs> oh Fallout four. Like Skyrim. Yeah, like Skyrim. <laughs> Given like guns, like lots of zombies. Nobody cares. That's good. <laughs> yeah. Would buy it. Most overhyped game <laughs> provided the most amount of features to the point where we stopped giving a shit. Good times. <laughs> Star Wars. Well, buy it as a pound. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would rather buy Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag today at full value, so 70 bucks back in the day, than and be given Star Wars Battlefront for free, only to only play Black Flag again. <laughs> <laughs> Just ignore the game. Black Flag 3. Uh, we got it free like three times. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Very cool. It's actually a pretty good game. It's just highly underrated. It's a single player story and uh, no fucks are given. So, <laughs> kill all zombies. <laughs> Indie hashtag game with... <laughs> hashtag. Yeah, sorry. Hashtag. I'm sorry. How could I forget that? Millennial. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> four pound eighty for a reason. <laughs> Indie game that has very high hopes for itself. <laughs> Ark Survival Evolved, hundred dollars. That's it, hundred dollars. Yeah, <laughs> this is the best game. You will spend thousands of hours wishing it was Minecraft. <laughs> Scorched Earth DLC for a game and game preview. How do you feel now, suckers? <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Assassin's Creed Flair Black Why Flag. Okay, how much is Black Flag? Because it just says owned. Owned with gold. It, it's how I much? Have gold is free. It's a, it's a good Pirates of the Caribbean game. Okay. It was an okay game. The one beside it, not so much. But the one, that, you know, that one was like, yeah, we can actually climb things like trees and that. And we can have a pirate ship. The one beside it is like, here's a grappling hook. You're Batman. How do you feel? <laughs> oh, yeah, Syndicate was bad. So bad. Right. No, no. Well, you know what? You're the one who spent full price on it. Fuck that shit. 
Like, nobody yeah. <laughs> bought that game. I'm surprised. You know what? It has a four-star rating. I guarantee it's, like, five reviews. <laughs> Actually, have a look. Let's, 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 let's look. Let's look and see. It's got 1,266. Where do you see that? Because it's not showing up for me. Oh, there it is. Next to the stars. One, two, six, six. Okay. 329 votes for five stars because people don't know how video games work. <laughs> 79 for four stars. 55 for one star. Interesting. I do not own the game, so I can't review it. <laughs> this guy gave it four stars. He's like, the game is just all right. It's all good. <laughs> it's just all right. Thanks for, thanks for the in-depth review. <laughs> <laughs> the, the top comment says the best Assassin's Creed so far. Well, another line. Back the way. Yeah, the dude has never played another video game and didn't play the original trilogy. Nine. He started with four, and he's like, five was just awesome. Syndicate's even better. This is the greatest Assassin's Creed ever. What do you mean there were three or four or five other games before number four? What are you talking about? <laughs> Ezio. <laughs> yeah, Ezio, what? <laughs> Altair. What's an Altair? What's somebody explain to me what an Altair is? <laughs> it's like a tear in the all of it, or what? <laughs> yeah, that's the person that reviewed that game. Uh, Batman, <laughs> Telltale game series. For when you want to read a comic book but you don't want to actually physically lift anything, you buy that game. <laughs> oh, it's free. Oh, well, okay, I'm gonna buy it because it's free. I mean, come on. <laughs> I, I could use a good comic story. I mean, good, let's, good let's be realistic here. Where, like, your, your response is, I'm Batman for every single line. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, jo the Joker's robbing the bank with a rubber duck. I'm Batman. <laughs> oh, that's cool. We know you're Batman. That's why we called you. Can you go stop him? I'm Batman. Yeah, no, that, that seems like it's going to be glorious 10 minutes of fun. Uh, Batman Arkham Knight was actually a really good game with a really fucked up thing. Uh, like that one driving mission with uh, the Riddler final challenge or whatever. It was, other than that, it was a good game. I'd, I'd pay 15 bucks for oh, it. Okay. You know? Yeah, so. Batman. More, more Batman. No, okay, wait, did I just get like the first... The free game. Yeah, wait, wait. Did I just buy like the first episode and, and that's it? What's the... The Telltale <laughs> series is... Episode yeah, it's episode one. Oh god damn it! I wasted my money. <laughs> just a, it's <laughs> <three>. <laughs> <laughs> wasted my money. You can't change my mind. All right, oh, Battlefield well, One, the the true Call of Duty winner of the year. <laughs> Good work. <game. laughs> like excellent war game. Still putting hundreds of hours into yeah, it. Worshipping Jack Frags like he's my god, but. <laughs> the game really doesn't have a lot of substance after you get to rank 10 on everything. You're kind of done. <laughs> yeah, that is fun. Especially when they don't figure out how to use anti-air guns and you just keep doing it. <laughs> They're like, dude, I wish somebody would take out this plane, but not me. I'm going to keep pushing the front line and getting bombed by the plane until somebody else grabs that, but if they don't grab that, then my team sucks. Yeah, and if you're losing, it's like, oh, here's a blimp or a train. Yeah, and if you're really lucky, a boat that nobody knows how to use properly. <laughs> Let's keep the boat as far away from the enemies and use nothing but the mortar strike so that everything else on the boat is useless, and those people leave, and your boat is now defenseless. Also, the weirdness that you can shoot through the boat to kill a little boat that's bombing you with torpedoes. How fucked is that? <laughs> Alright, but for everybody who just spent full price, enjoy your discount. <laughs> like <laughs> six weeks later, <laughs> fuck. Damn, I just bought that yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, a couple of people did buy it like last weekend <laughs> to play with us, and now it's on sale. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> oh, the combo. We'll get to the, we'll get to Titanfall two in a sec. Anyways, Bioshock. For those of you that missed Bioshock, it's back and not much better. Ta -da, review over. If you really, but here's the thing: it's backwards compatible. So just go to like GameStop or EB Games, spend like five pounds or five quid or five dollars on buy all three games, and then come home and play on your Xbox, and it's you know, good to go. Borderlands, a handsome collection. Doesn't like Borderlands though. 
<laughs> great game. I, but I didn't. Like, the first one ruined it for me, and so I just never got the other one. I don't have anything bad to say about it. First one ruined it for you. Because we were trying to do achievement hunting, and I realized when I go achievement hunting, I just get bored with games. Because you're just like grinding to shit in that game. But that is literally Borderlands. Yeah, Borderlands. <laughs> it should just be called Borderline Insanity Project: The Grind Fest. <laughs> but then it has has has. That's Mr. Talk in it, so it's all making the best game in the world. It's just like Destiny. Oh. Yeah, it's like Destiny, but with a storyline. Whoops! <laughs> <laughs> I'm, put, I'm probably, probably the better graphics. Absolutely better graphics. And 60 FPS. Because console peasants demand it. <laughs> no better loot system. Alright. Well, <laughs> next is a game, just in case you forgot about it at the top of the list. It's back! <laughs> <laughs> But the edition is the lag edition. Oh yes, it it's gives a, you. I don't know. It gives you. What, what, it, it gives you the DLC. Oh look, my Batman episode yeah, one yeah, is ready to punch. start. Go fuck yourself, Batman. <laughs> 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 All right, Carmageddon. In case you remembered this game, it's now on sale. Exactly. <laughs> Nobody remembers. This is this is an example of an indie game that believes it's worth the full price. Carmageddon and that other one, the Techromancer, which I actually hear is pretty good, but it's still an indie game that pretends it's a triple A title. So, yeah. Moving on. Black Ops 3, once again, Call of Duty telling you, pay attention to me. Dangerous Golf. <laughs> Sounds dangerous. Yeah, like, yeah. do they pull out Uzis if they miss their fucking shot? And, like, just <laughs> I call an artillery strike to make the hole bigger and be like, look, I got a hole in one. Yeah, you threw a hot dog down a hole. How do you feel? Wait, wait, is this. The, the whole game is about destroying things. I have no idea. I'm looking at a clip now. The whole game is about destroying things. And you get. And oh, your is this? The system is how much damage you do. Oh my god, why did I not know of this game? I was not paying attention. I take back everything I said. <laughs> Must buy. Not right now. But yeah, like, no, 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 no. Just, just that room filled with, like, a chandelier? Done. Yes. Done. Priceless artwork? I gotta, I gotta you sold me. Though? I will no. give you $50 for that game, but that is because I'm bad at math. <laughs> Alright, going back to dangerous. Alright, so you're going on the list of purchases. Alright, DC Universe Online. Remember that game that's been out for PS3 and PC for five years? Now with DLC. Nope. <laughs> yeah, can't seem to get online because, you know, the game hates people, hates filthy casuals, and doesn't understand why there's no hardcore dedicated people? This is why. Alright, Deus Ex. It's a pretty good game. I'm not willing to spend 109, so what makes you think I'm going to spend 55? For the for the digital deluxe edition, like come on, no, 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 no. You buy the standard edition when it's twenty dollars, and then you go, how come this game was so good and underrated? Because I waited till it was twenty dollars. Because no one's buying. Who knows what the game is? Yeah, exactly. Dirt rally. Dirt rally for rally cross lovers who wanted slightly better graphics and don't have a PC. No, no, this is Rally Cross. So there's like mud and Forza shit. Forza has Rally Cross now, don't it? No, okay. Forza Horizon's not real Forza. Dirt Rally is a simulation, whereas Forza Motorsport is a simulation of like track racing. Forza Horizon is an arcade racing game that uses some of the stuff of the assets from Motorsport to put it in dirt and shit. But it's not any by any means a simulation of anything. <laughs> it's a simulation in your mind, and I guess that counts for something. <laughs> Dishonored Definitive Edition. You can literally that complete the game right. in 18 minutes. <laughs> yeah. So. You can complete the game in 18 minutes. Like Don't bother buying it. <laughs> so yeah. 15, Option 2, fine. game over. Like, Option 1, you actually have to do things. Well, that's was really like short lived. <laughs> Yeah, Thief was Thief was good back on the PC days. I don't know what the fuck happened when it came to console. It just the following didn't come with it. The PC version still quite popular with people, just not the console version. 
Um, and I know that because I have it for free and I keep saying I'm going to play it. It doesn't even just mean hand one on the console. You can play well. Nah. It's definitely a PC game. They dropped the ball on that. But that's okay. Because now we have Dishonored. To make up for the fact that Thief was a disappointment on console, we're going to take away all the Thief aspects and still keep it first person murdering people with an excellent storyline that you could beat in. What, what did you say? 18 minutes? <laughs> that's that. 18 minutes. It's a speedrun game. You can complete in like 18 minutes. Yeah. Doom, for those of you who forgot, we talked about this already. <laughs> it's Doom again. And their DLC. <laughs> Alright, Doom, Dragon Age Inquisition, ruined, good game, don't get me wrong, just ruined, because I was actually in the Bioware office when they were developing the game, and so I knew everything before the game came out. <laughs> so, <laughs> not allowed to tell you Boy, then, but, you know, when you're given that many spoilers, it's like somebody sitting there and telling you scene for scene about a movie, a really good movie, before it even comes out. And they're like, this is everything that happens. Are you going to go see it? No. Exactly. So, there you go. Okay. Oh, and it's like super good. Yeah. <laughs> like, dances with wolves, maybe. Avatar, not so much. <laughs> Getting real dated here. <laughs> All right. Dying Light, the following. Dying. Anybody remember Dying Light? The zombie game. I'm assuming so. Let's let's find out. It's like you get a grappling hook. I think it's a zombie game. It's a zombie game. You got it's a pretty good. Little car. And I think it's like free running a zombie. It kind of reminds me of um that other zombie game, Dead Island. Except yeah. In a city. I remember this is the one that had like you know all the pressure. You had to keep running and running, and the live action trailers were pretty good. Yeah. So, parkour fueled zombie survival to a whole new level. Zombie. Yeah, it's more like infected rather than zombies, but, yeah. you know. That's cool that you can get into an all-terrain vehicle and just run them over, like, for fun. There was a better zombie game. I can't remember what it was called. My my buddy was telling me about it, where you pl you play as survivors, but every time that survivor dies, you have to play as a different character. <laughs> that was in the, like, little tribe, and you have to, yeah. It was really good, it just looked like shit, so... Uh, Formula One, um, I'm gonna say this, anyone that watches Formula One doesn't give two shits about Formula One on console. <laughs> like, nobody sits there and goes, I watched the race, you know, um, Mark Webber won, and, uh, yeah, now I'm gonna go play, replay that match, you know, that race in, in, in a car game, cause, you know. That's what everyone says. Also, I don't think Mark Webber races anymore. <laughs> and you guys are like, wait, you actually know somebody that races Formula One? <laughs> hey, Lewis Hamilton. On point. That's, yeah. that's a long time ago, Mark Schumacher. Yeah. That's a long time ago. There you go. All right, everybody. We made ref dated references. <laughs> Fallout 4. Oh. Just in case we didn't bitch on it enough. Here's the deluxe edition and the DLC separate. Now, you'll notice that it says installed. I didn't pay for this. The wife did. I just happened to have file sharing with her. Mm, yeah. Free shit. <laughs> Far Cry 4. Far Cry 3, but with an even more insane person. Like, the exact same as Far Cry 3. Except, no, this time, Far Cry 4, the protagonist makes sense. In Far Cry 3, you were just some dude who was like, I'm a party kid. I'm a f amateur photographer. Dude hands you an AK and you're like, it's like Call of Duty, right? And just instantly knows how to use it. And any weapon he's given, he's like a master archer. And I'm like, what the fuck? At least in Far Cry 4, you're like, oh, your family's from here? You might have grown up around this shit? Yeah, you understand how this works. Also, you didn't get raped in Far Cry 4. Yeah, there you go. Far Cry Primal. Too busy playing Ark. No one gives a shit. Goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> you came an animal by pressing one button. Yeah, yeah. You didn't actually work to tame that animal. You're just like, I'm a beast master. In Ark, I'm a real beast master. So go fuck yourself. FIFA 17, only popular everywhere else. Not popular in the states. Ha ha ha. Suck it. <laughs> Forza 6 Motorsport. No. Actually, okay. Just, I just bought no no. Just no. <laughs> just no. <laughs> just no. <laughs> no. Except I own it. 
I bought it on the last sale for Christmas, and it's actually it's a really good game. Except I don't give a shit about it anymore, and I haven't finished it. And I also have a hundred and fifty gamer score after putting probably close to sixty hours into the game. So <laughs> feeling a little robbed on achievements. And there's I'm not gonna buy the the ultimate. Okay, f you know what? Forza Three was the pinnacle of the series. That was it. That's I'm set it. It's done. Forza three, best of the series. Everything else after that was just bullshit, piled on for money. <laughs> Take that, turn ten. All right, Forza Horizon three. I've said my piece. You guys say whatever you want. <laughs> Forza six, but that's good. <laughs> <laughs> after everything I just said about Forza six, you're like, yeah, that's it. It's like Forza six, but Pretty not as good. Is, like. You buy Forza because it's like top of the range to say simulation kind of a game, and Forza Horizon like, gets rid of all the simulation and makes it to Need for Speed. Like, yeah, confused. except a little bit more fun <laughs> than Need for Speed's been in the last couple of years. Mostly because we keep getting Need for Speeds, and the EA hasn't learned that nobody gives a shit anymore. <laughs> like this I isn't mean, when not. Fast and Furious came out. We're at like fast. What was it? Fast and Furious <laughs> Nine now, and like nobody gives a shit about Need for Speed. We don't like watch the movie, then go back and be like, we need to play Need for Speed. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's not how it works. Yeah. Underground Two was boring. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry. Random. <laughs> and new person joining oh, our, our our video. New person. Thank you, George. Lucky Jojo. Yes. Welcome to YouTube. Welcome okay. to the review. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is right. <laughs> See, this, this is what happens when we do unscripted uh, shit. People jump in right. and just jump into our videos. So that's going to be good. All right. Feel free to drop some comments I where you feel, see fit. We're almost done this thing, I think. No. Oh, holy fuck. We have a long way to go. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> this video is going to be like three hours long. Damn. Do y'all, in a few minutes, do y'all want to play some Rainbow Six Siege if y'all have it? Uh, no, it's not installed. Sorry, man. Yeah. Oh. I don't know if I Yeah, it's not on the list. Sorry, bro. Have right now. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't we haven't covered it yet, so we'll we'll find out later. Okay. Gears of War Four. Gears of War Four. It's good game. It's on people. Actually, pr actually, pretty good one. It is a good game. Yeah, it's good. It's good, except you know, in this Gears of War there's robots and like there's not really any gore in robots. So never, yeah, per never game. buy <laughs> Infinite Warfare. Never. Yeah, we. we, we <laughs> that that was a while ago. I mean, it keeps coming up, but I mean, see, this yeah. is this is Activision <laughs> strategy. So Have well. people drop random mentions of our game, <laughs> like in the middle of conversation. It's that drunk chick at a party that you're. That's just like woo. I'm wasted, and you're like, wait a minute, <laughs> we're over here talking about the betterment of humanity and the development of space and technology, and you're just like, woo, I'm a drunk chick. <laughs> Good job. Good job, everyone. Good job, Activision, <laughs> for creating this. Alright, cool. Ghostbusters. Who you gonna call? Actually, okay, everyone should, no, no, <laughs> everyone should buy Ghostbusters at some point. Maybe not for, like, 50 bucks or 40 bucks, but for, like, 20 or 30. And the reason is because it's the movie we've always wanted. It was Ghostbusters 3, but we can't have it as Ghostbusters 3, so. We can't have the good stuff. No, no. Like, I don't even know what Grow Up is. What the hell is Grow Up? Yeah. <laughs> And, and why is there the... I can't remember what it's called, but it's pronounced growl up? Oh, oh, oh my. Mom's all over the place. So do you know good Thanksgiving? Well, Canadian Thanksgiving, also known as real Thanksgiving, happened a month ago, so yes. <laughs> Not King's Thanksgiving. Or yeah, Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah. See, see, over in the in the UK and Ireland, they go. We didn't conquer anyone. We were conquered by Romans. <laughs> so the Romans are having Thanksgiving, <laughs> but that's about it. Okay, Wait, but that's this game, it's like some crap. yeah. GTA, GTA Five. That's actually that's a good game. We'll give it to them. Grand Theft Auto Online. 
They just keep giving it. They're like, for, for anybody that bought the game in the season pass, I feel sorry for them because we haven't had to pay for a single piece of DLC. But I know, when I remember when they were doing that. So. And you're like, okay, guys, Heist will be here shortly. Yeah, well, three years, years later. later. <laughs> 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 like well, okay, first like of all, Heist didn't come out till the new console came out. And it's like, well, thanks, guys. <laughs> and then, P don't worry, PC version's right after that. So. <laughs> In reality, it was probably like a year and a half or two years before Heist came out. And then by that time, the population was so low. But the thing is that everybody on our friends list will still go back and play that game, even now. Like, I'll go back to it, no problem. I have no problems with that. Do y'all ever yeah. speak of the word division? We haven't gotten that far yet. No, that's quite wild. Well, we're yeah. Not we're, we're reading a list. <laughs> See, you jumped in the middle of a show. So, we're reading a list, and we're commenting on the games for YouTube. So that other people can avoid buying stupid games. I'm <laughs> <laughs> is good though. We haven't gotten that far. Files. Just, just patience. <laughs> we're, we're, it's a list. We're at Grand Theft Auto Five. <laughs> the division is way down there somewhere. We'll get to it because we have lots to say about that You're game. Like an hour aside. Yeah, Hasbro, Hasbro front. Okay, we're just moving on. We're not going to talk about the family fun pack. Who? It's Monopoly. There you go. You're paying twenty dollars for Monopoly. Enjoy. It's cheaper than buying the board game itself. You can still play with friends. Alright, Hitman. Uh, Hitman. <laughs> okay. No, 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 that's not fair. Because in Assassin's Creed you could parkour. <laughs> Hitman is a good game, but the delivery was bad. Now that all of the, let's say, Season 1 maps are there, it's complete and you can play through the story and you can have a good time and it's worth the full price the fact that we bought it and had to wait for that shit was annoying there's lots to do in like the second third and fourth map probably not the no the fifth map the uh the states colorado there's lots to do on those maps there's just like nothing to do in japan so or thailand they really hate the southeast asian countries um, Hyper Light Drifter. Uh, no. I don't know. <laughs> it, eh. What is it? It's, be, it's not like gonna be like as surprising yeah, as Dangerous game, Golf. Uh, there you go. It's, it's a 16 bit <laughs> RPG. A, oh my god, I'm tired of those. <laughs> I want 32 bit or go home. <laughs> I, want at least, I want at least 18 bit. Why don't I plan it? 16 bit too late. Listen, listen, so, yeah, like, I mean, even Minecraft 64-bit, like, what the fuck? Alright, the Super Nintendo was great, you're never gonna make it again. <laughs> the <laughs> inside. $5 horror game for 20 bucks, now for thirteen thirty-nine. Skip. The Jackbox Party Pack was the first dirty game that I ever knew of as a child. <laughs> my parents, I don't, well, actually, my mom and my aunt used to talk about it and a few other party games and it wasn't until like I was an adult that I realized that these games are dirty as shit <laughs> so yeah thanks mom <laughs> um, <laughs> just cause 3 frame rate crashing deluxe is what it should be called frame train yeah, I'm not sure. frame just train I like that bad person no, well, Just Cause 3 has the most beautiful explosions I've ever seen in a video game, and every other game should stop what they're doing and look what they're doing, and then be like, if we have explosions, we're going to steal them from Just Cause 3. The problem with Just Cause 3 is, and, well, to a, a further extent, Hitman, is the unlocked 60 FPS frame rate crashes down to 24 frames because designer issues. Interestingly enough, you can fix the frame rate on Just Cause 3 by simply going offline. Then it's fine. The game's stable. <laughs> like, fuck. Fuck you, Doc. Yeah. Just Dance 2017. Yeah. You pay us to not get drunk, <laughs> look like a fool, and not get late at the end of the night. Congrats. <laughs> <laughs> Kerbal Space Program. Meh, skip. 
<laughs> Killer Instinct, that free game that now costs money. Can exports rival? More, oh my more god. Combat if you're poor. <laughs> yeah, more <laughs> combat if you're poor. <laughs> Connect Sports Rivals. Remember that Connect that nobody has? <laughs> now you can be a rival wow. with that one yeah. other person that He's never uses one. it. I have one, by the way. I have a Connect. It's in the living room. We never use it. In fact, my buddy, who also has a Connect, is a machinist, and he fabricated a metal, a custom metal faceplate for the Connect to disable the camera so we can use the voice controls and nobody can spy on us visually. It's a good time. Uh, Kingdom, New Lands. I don't... 64-bit... <laughs> Blast processing. Just like more bits. Yeah. And here are all the Lego games. Uh, Lego, Lego... Okay, but the Lego games are stupid fun. And, and they're great to play for easy achievement points and random things. They're not worth buying brand new. They're four little kids played by adults who, who have like this huge guilt factor about playing them. But they're great also if you have friends over. Like if you want to actually put two people on a console and you want to turn it into a drinking game every time you die. It's great. So, all right, life is strange. Game that was free, enjoy. <laughs> enjoy paying for it now. I haven't played it yet. Too many games. Live Lock. Very good movie. Best knee but worse somehow. <laughs> Top down version of Destiny. Got it. Exactly. <laughs> Alright. Why are we comparing everything to Destiny? Remember when we used to compare everything to Halo? <laughs> that was the standard of which all bullshit was bullshitted. And now we're doing yeah. it to Destiny. <laughs> oh, surrounded. Okay. Mad Max. Yeah, you must be mad to play this game. And you know what? No, it was really good. It just was <laughs> not worth like eighty dollars. I picked it up on sale. I yeah. I have the disc version of it, and I love it. My buddy loved it so much. He borrowed the game from me for like three months, grinding through it with for fun, and then he loved it so much he went and bought his own copy, because he just wanted to keep playing it again and again and again. He doesn't care that the story doesn't change. There's no new game plus. He just wanted to play it again. So. Madden NFL. If you're not an American, you just don't get it. Mafia 3. <laughs> Remember, if you don't like it, you're a racist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the game that put Trump in power. Sounds pretty cool. Yeah. I played Mafia 2. That was pretty cool. Yeah. Ma well, Mafia 2 is... Mafia 1 I have on the original Xbox. It's why... Okay, so, uh, the what, reason I bought an original Xbox was actually because my brother showed me Mafia on PC. And he was... And how fun it was when we were kids doing drive-bys out of, like, those 1940s cars. And we were, like... Or I think it was in 1930s. It was prior to World War One. Anyways, the point is, it was a really old game. And we were just having fun doing drive-bys and, and being the Mafia. I don't really remember the story too much. I know there were some racing levels in the countryside, and there was a lot of stuff in the city. But I remember that the PlayStation 2 version was shit because you couldn't do drive-bys. You couldn't look left or right with your gun. So you could shoot, I think, straight ahead or not at all. And they just kind of cut all that content out. And it was really funny. Um, but the Xbox and the PC at the time could do it. And then Mafia 2 was really good. Uh, there were some weird little Grand Theft Auto moments that I kind of liked from it. Like, you remember pushing A to lock the speed so you went the speed limit? And then if you sp oh, if you sped up past that by unlocking it, then the cops would, like, give you a ticket. And you had to pay them. I was like, that's a dirty system, but great. <laughs> I, I love that system. That was pretty awesome. Mafia 3 I haven't played yet, but I have not. I heard that they got rid of all that stuff. So, that kind of sucks. Mafia 4, by the way, is just going to be the Sopranos. <laughs> so, <laughs> just saying. <laughs> Get ready for that. Lots of titties. Um, Mega Man. We actually can't say anything bad about Mega Man, can we? No. I feel like, no, we if we're like, oh man, dude, it includes the worst Mega Man games, a legion of nerds will swim across the ocean and, like, <laughs> strangle us. With each with like one Infinity. finger touching us. 
and like to the point we're just choked to death from the like 30 of them that made it to touch us to kill us and they will feel vindicated and forever people will know not to talk shit about Mega Man <laughs> Metro 2033 well, we Metro <laughs> yeah Metro. speaking of talking shit about random p cultures uh <laughs> here's Russians like have you ever played Metro yeah I played I think like 2033 yeah. I, I'm not a big fan of horror games yeah, though I'm so playing. I was being married to your character, right? And there's this kid talking to me. And like, the kids, like, the voice actor that um, does the kids in that game are adults. <laughs> so the kid had a grown Russian, strong accent voice. I'm like, look around the place, I'm like, wait, where's that voice coming from? I look down with a little kid, and I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just pictured for some reason. A, a cartoonish Irishman going up and look at the little baby and then I just like what do you want <laughs> it is a good game and, and the thing was Metro Re like if you want it in 4k just go buy it for PC the Redux if you want it in because like, they did like a lot of graphical upgrades to make it real 4k what two years ago for the PC but you can still play it, obviously, in all the other modes. But the console version did a really good job of bringing up all the graphics and stuff to this generation to the point where having an Xbox One S still capitalizes on it. Um, I think Digital Foundry was doing some stuff on that. And we should probably go watch their videos again. Shameless self-promotion. <laughs> I have nothing to do with them. I'm just saying things. <laughs> okay, Shadow of Mortar, Middle Earth. Actually, Shadow Mortar. Game. It was a really good game. And it took I a lot of liberties, that. but it was good. Yeah. It really I'm adds sure to that. Tolkien's trilogy. And before the Fellowship, I think. Well, it, no, 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 no. It, it, okay, so... The, the Hobbit, or There and Back Again, takes place before The Lord of the Rings. The Lord of the Rings is the trilogy. Shadow of Mordor is a prequel, essentially, to explain where Sauron comes from. And that is in uh, the story of Shadow of Mordor, and that's to explain Lord of the Rings better. The Hobbit is just an adventure's tale. That's, that's what it's for. It's a kid's story that he used to tell his kids, and then wrote into a book and became a bestseller, and everybody loves it. I'm sure there's more to it, but that's, that's the general synopsis. <laughs> Mighty number nine, if you're too poor to afford... No, Mega like Man. It is. Oh, it's if you can't afford Mega Man or don't want to play Mega Man and get trapped by all the people calling you a scrub, then you buy Mighty Number no. Nine. Wait, Mighty Number no. Nine is eight, you and Mega Man is six. Yeah, so buy Mega Man. <laughs> Nobody's gonna call you a scrub. <laughs> There's no online that yeah, where some know. dude's like, "Hey, you're a scrub," because you're a scrub. You haven't beaten Mega Man two yet. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> How dare you not be born in the 80s? <laughs> okay. Mighty number no. 9 is done. Minecraft story mode, which, yeah. honestly, this is the <laughs> biggest waste of money I've ever seen. Like, $24 for something, just a storyline for Minecraft. Like, I fuck! I don't understand. Like, literally, go buy a Blu ray for a movie that just came out and it'll be cheaper. By two dollars. <laughs> I swear, Telltale Games, no, Telltale Games is literally making games to see how far they can push the bullshit. They don't make games, they just take existing franchises and give them a story. So it's like, they have a comic book artist who's like, okay, we need two different storylines. Okay, boom, game done. Alright, everybody, let's cash in on this. We're going to make a million dollars. Here we go. $20 worth of development, million dollar <laughs> income. Yeah. We got this. Boom, it's done. Like because everybody buys it. Games. But it's coming. I guarantee there's going to be the adult <laughs> version of Telltale Games. Breaking there's, Bad. There's, there's, no, there's, um, there's Game of Thrones Telltale Games. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, that was alright, right. No, no, so we can't say that those are, none of them are all right. <laughs> okay, if we start... <laughs> because the second we say they're all... No, no, when you say they're all right, and this one is good, or that one is good, you're vindicating them. You're telling them it was okay to have made this game series. 
<laughs> if you okay. play Minecraft Borderlands Minecraft 2 and Minecraft the storyline, <laughs> the what's called the Telltale of Borderlands actually have that unlock because it went after the actually we, it was actually needed for the storyline. Actually, talk actually it's going to Borderlands 3. So if you, yeah, it's actually need, it's actually required. It's actually it's required. After Borderlands 2, no. and 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 what's called um after the pre-sequel. It's that sort of time period. So but I've already like, said how I feel about Minecraft. Borderlands. <laughs> well, I don't care what you think. Borderlands yeah. is a great game. <laughs> Recommended. Like, listen to him. <laughs> it's what I'm about. Uh, okay, I didn't say it was a bad game. I just said I, I, yeah, if I don't want to play Borderlands 2, why would I want to play this? You know, it just doesn't make any sense. All, all, all Telltale games are great. <laughs> except Minecraft. All, except all, Minecraft. all Telltale games are great <laughs> except Minecraft. Okay, next week they're going to release. <laughs> Sesame Street, a Telltale game series, and if you say it is a great game, and like hundreds of people, you know, buy it, I want them. I'm gonna give them your home addresses. Somehow, I'm just gonna get them, and I'm gonna give them to people <laughs> to send you like the heads of baby ducks, and that will be your punishment: is receiving nothing but the heads of baby ducks. Right. How for promoting it. They're punishing themselves. <laughs> for one, for buying the game, and two, killing baby ducks. They're punishing themselves. <laughs> How am I being punished? Because, because you have to live with the fact you've corrupted society that they actually did it. No. You <laughs> <laughs> society. Oh, really? No, I'm a exactly. sociopath. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> hey, duck, duck and pancakes. Get free dinner. I'm gonna say no to that. <laughs> You, you could personally refund people for buying that shitty game. So, okay, but come on. They're like, oh, Minecraft story mode sucks, but the other ones are good. It's $40 for a 30 cent game. Like, there are games on your phone that have more substance on it. Okay? I, I, I got season 1 to 5 of Borderlands to go season 2 for free because I did one free for every month, every two couple weeks. Oh, yeah, I remember that, but still. Uh, it's like when you spend money on it though it's like just go on your phone like if it came out for the iPhone or an Android and you're like oh it's a phone game and I spend 99 cents on it okay that's fine that's cool you know what no problems 99 cents not a big deal they have 50 games whatever you spent 99 cents times 50 games that's different than having 10 games at $40 and then spending $40 because you're like this series is the greatest game series ever because I've never played another video game ever <laughs> that's what you say. <laughs> that's well. That's what I imagine those people are saying. <laughs> They're like, "This is the greatest series ever," because <laughs> I don't think anyone's ever said that the Telltale game series is the greatest series ever. You just said it. Well, <laughs> okay, we're moving on. We're done. Okay, no more talking about Telltale game. We're gonna skip all the rest. <laughs> Okay, Mirror's Edge Catalyst, free with EA Access, or 3119. Parkour, parkour. Yeah, it's like parkour in first person. It's hard to argue. The only thing that, the only complaint is that when your EA Access expires, you no longer get to keep the game. So you're better off spending the money and buying the game, so that at least you can keep that license for longer. <laughs> Until they decide you don't get it anymore. Uh, Mortal Kombat XL. Mortal Kombat. If you're gonna buy Killer Instinct, just buy Mortal Kombat. Yeah, like I, you know what though? I prefer Killer Instinct over Mortal Kombat. I could never really get into Mortal Kombat, learn the combos, whatever. Other than Sub Zero's insane 24 hit combo in Mortal Kombat Deception on the original Xbox, that was the only one that I ever learned. But I've never probably enjoyed what's it called buying games. Okay, Smash Bros is like never a shitty game. People are like, oh, I don't prefer this one, but they're never like, it's just garbage. Because it's impossible yeah. to not laugh when Pikachu gets smacked around like a little baby bitch by Mario. That's that's the honest truth. <laughs> so, if you can't, if you don't have a Nintendo system, buy Mortal Kombat. <laughs> And if you don't like Mortal Kombat, <laughs> buy Killer Instinct. <laughs> that's a weird, that's a weird um, sort of comparison. <laughs> Smash Bros and Mortal Kombat. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine if the two games merged? 
like in all honesty you're just like oh, watching pikachu, pikachu get his bullshit. spine wrapped out <laughs> I, 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 I would just laugh when they did it to mario and it's like a fat skeleton like and see he was big boned <laughs> you can't judge him <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll buy it if they made the pikachu fatality um, what, like the home alone what, what, what does the mob when he gets the, the electricity Oh, that's the only reason. You buy it. <laughs> Mortal, uh, Mortal Kombat presents Super Smash Bros. Exactly. Imagine the fatalities they have. Can you imagine the fatalities? Pikachu just becomes Pichu, and you're like, that's too cute to a murder, and then he just steps on it. <laughs> like, <laughs> you're like, well, that escalated quickly. <laughs> Childhood <laughs> ruined. <laughs> Yeah, I think they would be under a in a lot of trouble. I think fans would definitely start rioting in the streets if you watched S Scorpion or Sub Zero step on a Pichu and laugh. <laughs> but how funny would it be to Pichu stomp on Scorpion? <laughs> <laughs> what was that Scorpion around. Pokemon? Pikachu turns him into that Pokemon, and then puts him in the ball and shoves the ball up his ass or something. <laughs> like what? <laughs> just, <laughs> Be like, there you go. He just shit out a scorpion. All right. Okay, we need to move on. This conversation has devolved so quickly. All right. Naruto ship it in, not even for a dollar. I think was the general agreement. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, hell yeah. Corey's up for it. Okay. All right. Let, let's be real here. Beside it is NBA 2K17. We're gonna lump these two in together. I know they have nothing to do with each other, but I would rather pay $80 for NBA 2K17 and be given Naruto only to only play NBA for four matches and then be done forever. But, oh, oh, I'm sorry. Did I offend you that I don't like Naruto and I'd rather play basketball? Well, that's racist. <laughs> <laughs> what? I think, you think, I think what you said is racist. <laughs> You're the one. <laughs> no, 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 no. I would rather play basketball four times, like the basketball video game four times, than play Naruto. And the only reason is because I don't like Naruto. I prefer Dragon Ball Z. The world and the internet can suck my dick, and that is the end of the discussion. <laughs> I'm waiting for the hate mail. Like I feel like even though this is a recording, right now I'm receiving somebody somewhere out there has sent me an email being like, "You son of a bitch, you fucking hate our series." Yeah. Well, you know when it becomes bleach, let me know. Other than that, go fuck yourself. Okay. Necropolis. Indie game with super high hopes. I don't know. Okay. We're just gonna move. On. I'm not even gonna like open it. Like I don't even care. <laughs> So we're gonna go to Neverwinter Nights. Neverwinter is that MMO that people forgot is on here. Like, it's a free MMO that competes with. Neverwinter Zenkinds, 150. 86 pounds. Freemium games, guys. Dude, we just spent. Like, I've. We count. Okay, so the wife and I sat down and we were talking about how much money was spent on Smite in the past three months. And the number is disgusting. Like, disgustingly bad. <laughs> And I feel like if I started really getting into Neverwinter, it would be even worse. This is why I'm not allowed to play MMOs. I just give them my money. <laughs> but yet I complain about paying for a monthly subscription. <laughs> I'm a very twisted individual. Alright, Need for Speed. It says owned because I picked it up already for 20 bucks. I have no idea what it is for like right now because it says owned. Sixteen pounds or free EA access. Yeah, right now it tells me I can get the deluxe edition for eleven fifty five. I've put all of like I think two hours into this game. Yeah, about that. So two hours for a game I spent twenty bucks on. So why would I give a shit? The cutscenes are okay. You know what EA does is they go and they film it in a real studio and then de-res the video so that it looks animated. Or are they like super contrasted or something? I can't remember. They were talking about it from like the GameCube. <laughs> like we're going way back when they started doing this to get that 
kind of photorealism, even though it's really just downgraded. Because And you can tell, because you'll be like, this is the person talking, and then they'll introduce the car you're driving, and you're like, well, that's clearly a not real. <laughs> like, what the hell happened? I mean, they kind of learned their lesson from that, but, you know, that's that's their thing. Oh man, there's an Odd World game. I'm I'm just skipping over NHL because that's a Canadian thing. Nobody else in the world cares. But new and tasty, <laughs> Odd World. I didn't even know this game came out. I don't even know what that is. Okay, so Odd World was the game that came out. Uh, it was like a platform, a 3D platformer that came out on the original Xbox, and then just kind of disappeared from the planet. And now you can pick up the side-scrolling game add-on thing for six dollars and sixty cents in Canada and probably like four pounds over there and I would kind of recommend it just to kind of keep the series alive because well it's a series and it tries hard it's a try hard alright it's a try hard you know there's a little commercial of it and uh... yeah we're, we're just gonna keep going. people are broadcasting it random twitch dude over here good job playing that game that no one else cares about because they really should care about Aww. and he just died okay. that sucks all right going back seven gigs for a side scroller holy shit oh i lost my placeholder where were we we're on now I'm one piece Third one plus. piece Oh man, I gotta scroll down. It's like trying to load the store. It's like there's too many sales and you don't seem to like any of it, so. Alright. One Piece is another anime that I never got into, so. I don't. I don't. Like, Naruto, I dislike. One Piece, I have no opinion on, so. I just never got into it. I know what it's about, I just never got into it. I think I watched like tips and I thought, what the hell am I watching? Yeah. Alright. Ori in the Blind Forest. In case you didn't get it the three times it was available for free, now you can spend ten dollars. <laughs> Overcooked Gourmet Edition. It's like what was that um PS two game? Oh, it might be before your times. Uh Cook overcooked food. No 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 no. It was um it was the wrapping one. <laughs> I don't know. No, I played like Cooking Mama 3, that's about it. Well, there's Cooking Mama, <laughs> but this is before Cooking uh, Pasta Rappa or something like that. I don't know. I'll look it up one day. Um. Alright, then there's. So that's what Overcooked looks like. I, I'm not even going to click it. No one cares. Overwatch. Don't buy it. Buy it, Play Paladins instead. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> okay. I don't know, Overwatch is okay, but it's just, it, it's like a shooter where they're like, we're not going to give you paid DLC, so instead we're just going to take, like, all the substance out of a game and leave you with just, like, the raw core multiplayer without class building or customization, really. Team Fortress 2, except you to pay for it. Yeah, pretty much, there you go. Team Fortress 2, but <laughs> costs money. And because it's Blizzard, everyone's like, this is the greatest game ever made, when, in reality, let's be honest, it's, Blizzard has yet to make an amazing game. They've taken other games and made them better, but they don't actually innovate and make an amazing game. Like, World of Warcraft just took what was available and, and made it better, because we had Warcraft 3 and all that back in the day. And even those games were just ripoffs of other games, and that's all Blizzard is, is a ripoff of other things. Of course, nobody cares about my opinion on Blizzard, so I'm just going to move on. Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2. <laughs> really fun game. Highly underrated. No population to play with. Yes? No? Yes. I think the beta was pretty big, but I don't Yeah. That's the problem. The beta seemed very populated and very fun. And then the game comes out and nobody cares not. anymore. <laughs> Exactly, because like, you pay the base, like, eh, I don't want to pay 30 pounds for it, so. I, <laughs> I let it go and sell, but then it never goes in sale, and they don't buy it, and they forget about it. Honestly, it's, it's like Battlefield 4. Battlefield 4 had such a shitty launch on the Xbox, and the population disappeared, and then before Battlefield 1 came out, there was a huge population on Battlefield 4. There oh, still yeah. is a big population on that game. It's just, 
weird to me that I'm like, okay, so if you want to play a modern shooter, you play Battlefield 4. If you want to play a World War One historical shooter that's not very historical, you play Battlefield 1. Got it. All Nation FX. Okay, this is the, okay I got this game for free. Don't buy it. For some reason, it takes eons to load a pool table. I get that it has, like, re simulation physics and stuff, but come on, it's a pool game. I have that on my phone. <laughs> this, this isn't a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Power Style Golf, which is free to play for like, you know, basic guys. It's like Killer Instinct. Don't get it because it's not it's not dangerous golf. No, Don't no, it. it's not dangerous <laughs> golf. You're right. So no, if you want if you want an arcadey golf game, go buy a 3DS and get Mario Golf. There you go. Nintendo has saved the day yet again. <laughs> yeah. Prototype. Oh, prototype. Oh. <laughs> you, you know, it's funny that Ubisoft looked at Prototype 2 and was like, you know, that's the basis of which we're going to build Assassin's Creed 5 Unity. Because a lot of the stuff when the game came out, you paid for, but they're like, we'll be released three weeks after launch, and then four weeks after launch, and then six months after launch, to try and keep you to come back to a single player game. When they should have just released a $40 game, called it what it was, and called it a day. I will say, however, the statues that came with the second one were pretty fucking nice. So, they did have some cool stuff that came with it. The story was very unique, and the open world Manhattan stuff was pretty fun. But, yeah. It is what it is. It just sucks. <laughs> 25 for both if you've never played is, an, is not a bad deal. But if you have played, just go buy a 360 version or a PS3 version. Yeah. I saved your life. Yeah. I, and I your wallet. Uh, Plants vs. Zombies, which we just finished talking about, and the, for some reason it decides we have to talk about it again. Yeah. <laughs> because it's not it? Quantum Break. Is it Quantum, Quantum Break is it, is it a good movie. Like, yeah, <laughs> it's, a good, it's a good movie, not I a love, great game. I love the idea of it. <laughs> yeah, I have no. have idea what they to try to go with. I think, I think if that was given to Tomb Raider, that sort of game, I think, would be a lot better. Yeah. I think Tomb Raider pulled off a lot better. Quantum it did. Break it, done. it did. So, it, okay, I just picked up Quantum Break for $35 used at EB Games slash GameStop. So, why would I spend thirty-seven fifty to have it digitally? <laughs> like, that's not even a good deal. It's just Microsoft, please buy our game. <laughs> uh, RBA Baseball seems like a rip-off of an EA game. Just buy, just, just buy the Wii. Just buy a Wii and get Wii Sports. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Economy saved. Rare replay. If you can't save it, it might offend a few people. <laughs> Actually, no, okay. Rare, rare replay is a good deal for like 10 bucks, And the reason is because... True. You get 30 games for $10, so that's 30 cents a game. Now, if you look at what it costs on, like, the Nintendo Store to buy um, a digital copy of, let's say, Legend of Zelda, and, or or you go on to, like, uh, another store, usually those games are, like, five or six bucks, a minimum. So at 30 cents, you're going to find $10 worth of fun somewhere in that collection. And I know I have, which is very interesting. <laughs> because I was like, Cameo's in there, and fuck that game. <laughs> yeah, why don't I play some of these games when it's not, it's not Spyro, so why don't I play it? No, but Conker's Bad Fur Day is in there, and that alone is really worth it. <laughs> like, let's face it, <laughs> we would we would gladly pay money for that game. <laughs> See, so, and Battletoads was fun, so there you go. So there's your $10 worth of quality, plus there's Perfect okay. Dark, which is also a really fun shooter. Um, the Banjo-Kazooie games were meh. There's a lot of arcade games that you probably weren't even born yet to play. And those who were regret it because they, they weren't very good. And, uh, yeah. But you'll find the $10 worth of value in that pack. So. And I did pay full price for it. I did pay the $40 when it came out. So. I have the value because I'm such a huge Perfect Dark fan. So, yeah. Resident Evil. Triple pack. I mean, I'll, I'll just buy four. I won't buy all three. I won't buy five and six and I'll just buy four. But would you pay $40 for four? Four is 15 quid. There you go. 
So, five. buy four. Just buy four. Yeah, five was played to death. Five was a bit of a letdown. And six was... I don't want to talk about six. Okay, I liked six, but the only reason I liked six was because I never understood in four <laughs> why he can't aim and walk. <laughs> like, <laughs> I have to stop everything I'm doing to shoot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what goes on in Japan during a zombie apocalypse, but why does every Japanese game developer think that's the way it works? I have to stop and aim. I cannot move. Yeah, they can't do both. Yeah. What if you miss? Stuffed. It's very easy to miss a slow moving target. Yeah. With a shotgun, at point blank. <laughs> right, Call of Duty? Yeah. <laughs> um... But yeah, anyways, triple pack. I would actually buy the triple pack if I had never played all three games. But I have all three games, so I don't know why I would buy it again and again and again and again. <laughs> um, I think they're trying to be Mario, but with zombies and viruses. So, yeah. Batman Return to Arkham. Which is just Arkham Asylum redone. But he, okay, but here's the thing though, if you didn't play Batman Arkham Asylum, buy this game. Buy Return to Arkham. Because that game was phenomenal for anyone that even is a remote Batman fan. It was based on the comics, it was really well done, it was by a studio that brought their, you know, brought the show or whatever. You know, they didn't just did a lot of t do a lot of talking and not deliver, it was delivered exactly what we wanted. It's about Batman's longest night in Arkham Asylum, and it was phenomenally well done. And it was well received. Everybody loves that game. E except for people who hate Batman. I mean, if you're just a Marvel fanatic, you're like, fuck anything DC, we can't help you here. Go play Tomb Raider instead. Because <laughs> that's, that's about it. It's Batman. And nothing is more fulfilling than swooping down and dangling someone off of a gargoyle statue that somebody decided is an architectural need on the inside of a building. <laughs> and then you show your I'm Batman. And then, yeah, I'm just... <laughs> there needs to be a button added as a mod that just says, I'm Batman. <laughs> like, push select to say, I'm Batman. Okay, I'm Batman. Sweet. <laughs> and it needs to be directed by Will Shorts. So, everything's a crossword puzzle. Sweet. <laughs> Uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider. I actually didn't play this one. I played the first one, which was really good. I just didn't play this one. It was, it was good. It was a good game. It was, it was basically the same one, but the first one was better features. It ran a bit smoother. Graphics-wise, pretty much the same. Just if you enjoy the first one, yeah. To get the second one, it was just okay. pretty cheap as well. There you go. Thirty-three forty-nine. I don't know why you would want. What is this one? The twenty-year celebration. What's actually in that? Have a look. You get, uh, you, get, you get season ticket, season pass, it. That's it, it's, and some different skins. But, I mean, I don't think it's worth the extra, like, 15 pounds or anything. Extra, it's just 10, yeah, like 13. I would say it's worth You can buy season pass for 4 pounds. So, don't. Just buy the, just buy the first one season Yeah, season just, pass. just, yeah. So, actually, so. Yeah, alright, whatever. Okay, so, buy Tomb Raider. It's a good game. Okay. Ugh. So next, we're going to get into something, and you guys are going to hear some pretty words. And uh, Volition, I really hope one of you is listening. Just somebody at Volition needs to listen to this. We're going to skip Metro Redux, the double pack, you know, whatever, and we're just going to get into the Saints Row stuff. The Saints Row was an amazing comedy ver like it was a satire of Grand Theft Auto one was great it was a little weird but it was good two perfected what happened in one with more slapstick three was the pinnacle of story based comedy but there wasn't a lot of replay value in it because you couldn't go back and redo missions like you could. You had to start the game over from scratch. And there were a lot. And it was one of the few games where I was like, I want to redo that story mission because when Burt Reynolds shows up, and I'm, I know that's a spoiler. I should have said spoiler first, but I don't care. That <laughs> was the pinnacle moment of my life when the mayor is fucking Burt Reynolds. And you're like, 
damn. And that's and everything's great after that. Now, four was a disaster. Like, I I was playing it. Okay, I was on the the Facebook page. It took me, I think, three six hour ish sessions to beat the game. At like a hundred percent, not you know, I beat the story. That took me like eight hours, but I hundred percent of the game in like. 18 to 20 hours and I was on their page and there were all these people talking about how this was the greatest game ever and all I could think is you people are dumb or have never played another game like if you like a game that's cool I'm not gonna sit there and be like you're a bad person because you like a video game right it's just it's just not fair but Saints Row 4 was so bad and such a slap in the face that I, I, it killed the series. Yeah, it was, there was no point in ever getting into a car, ever. <laughs> like, it was just like, I could run everywhere faster than the cars. I don't care. Yeah, All right, no problems. And, yeah, okay, that was fun uh, to a degree, but it was just too easy. Um, the other thing was that Get Out of Hell was DLC for Saints Row uh, 4 that became a standalone game. That's fine. Enter the Dominatrix was actually DLC, part of the season pass. There were four pieces of season pass uh, in um, Saints Row 3. The last one was Enter the Dominatrix, and it was removed from Saints Row 3 and added to Saints Row 4. So anybody like me who bought the, sa the season pass in Saints Row 3 got screwed out of DLC and ended up overpaying buying the season pass than just buying the DLC. And and there was nothing. There was no refunds. There was no adjustments. There was no extra bonuses given. There was just nothing. So, I didn't buy the season passes Saints Row 4. In fact, I don't buy season passes anymore because of what happened with Saints Row 3. So, Saints Row 4 is worth $5. Seven fifty if it comes with Gat out of hell. That's that's it. That's that's the end of the long jaunting rant of mine about Saints Row. Do you guys have anything to add, or you're just gonna be quiet and be like, "That was awkward." <laughs> Dude just goes off on a tangent. No, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> All right then. I played, sure I you played, it, I played three. One, two, three. And I saw, I didn't play 4, and I thought I'd get 4 cheaper, but when I saw the fact that he had wings, I was like, nah, fam, it's too much. I'm out. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah we're out. Three, and I we're saw out. 4, and we're I was out. like, nope. <laughs> but I mean, okay, do you remember in Saints Row 2, when Gat died? Yeah. Yeah. Spiders. Like, right okay, oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> fuck fuck spoilers, we're way past spoilers. I'll put it in the description below, and like, tiny print, Okay. In Saints Row 2, do you remember when Aisha died? When he came back, and it was just like, there was her decapitated body, and he just holding it, and they just buried him alive? Like, that was intense! That storytelling was insane, because your character's just like, nope, we're not going to stop him. I love him, but he's on his own with this one. We're just going to help him, because if he's willing to bury a man alive... Uh, we're done. <laughs> like, nope. <laughs> and then he dies, and you're like, but he doesn't just die. He dies like a fucking badass. <laughs> or sorry, it was the beginning of Saints Row 3 when he died, when he went down at the plane. M you know, more spoilers. So, <laughs> first Burt Reynolds, and then he goes down with the plane? Like, come on. There's a lot more in Saints Row 3 that to discuss, though, if you wanted to do a full spoiler. We should just play through the Saints Row series and do, like, a review of it. <laughs> and, like, <laughs> just commenting it's on the whole time. I think, no, I think we should choose one game that each of us have to play just to, punch, just, just, just to punish, each other, punish each other. So I would force, what's it called, six to play Battlefront Star Wars for about 10 hours. Oh, <laughs> I hate you so much. <laughs> Challenge accepted, though. You have to buy the game, though. <laughs> I give you the quest. How does it? Fifteen quid. Fuck it. How does it? I think it's like fifteen. <laughs> oh 
want to use that's the deluxe edition. Let's find a cheaper one. No, yeah, just buy like the basic one. There you go. I think I've got a code EAX, EAX is for like a month. I should let you use that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well we'll get we'll do that after this. We we gotta finish this review at some point in our life because we we're only at the S's and we haven't even gotten to Star Wars Battlefront. <laughs> yeah, we did it once. Yeah. All right. Yeah, the game's like we're gonna bring this shit up a lot in the next coming pages. <laughs> Um, all right, we're gonna skip Shadow Complex, Slime Rancher, and we jump right on Smite Ultimate God Pack. If you hate your life and you get addicted to Smite, then buy the God Pack. Enough said. <laughs> all right. Oh, and you want to know what the magic number is? Because I actually I'm working on a video to to show how stupid I am with money and Smite. Do you remember I was saying how much I I we tallied it up? Four thousand dollars. What? On like Smite. Three months. On Smite. I hate my life. <laughs> okay. We I bought like everything. I, it's, Are you sure? You would be surprised. We were like, wait, 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 wait. Four thousand dollars. That's not even possible. But then we tallied it up. Okay. The Odyssey what alone. The Odyssey you alone. <laughs> you see? It's like in any MMO. I refuse to pay a monthly subscription, but I'll give you all my money. Not a big deal. <laughs> okay, so in that $4,000, is two of us buying the God Pack for $30 each, uh, buying the starter packs, and then just gems. Like, I own almost everything in Smite. And then we realize that that's like, tw there's about $2,500 worth of stuff. And they keep adding more stuff, and we keep buying it like idiots, without realizing that. Remember when the 360 came out and you had an avatar, and everyone made fun of you for spending like three dollars on an outfit for your avatar? Yeah. Well, I was one of those people, and now I'm the idiot spending even more money, like <laughs> stupid amounts of money, on a free game. <laughs> like I am the episode of The Simpsons about it. So if you're addicted to this MOBA like I am, then you will fucking spend the money and get the God Pack. You will not regret it. It is fantastic. Do it while you can, do because apparently it's not going to be available anymore. Transaction. Well, the God Pack. Yeah, they're going to split it. They're going to do what League did. So you can buy like certain sections of gods uh, in, a, in a pack. But this one gives you all of them and all the future ones. So it's a really good yeah, deal. I can't see it. <laughs> Because now it's like eight, eight, what, eight, two gods. Yeah, but Tuesday night is released. Yeah, but w next year we're getting ten oh, new ones. Spoilers. So, <laughs> oh yeah, you can't really say spoilers. No one gives a shit. Everybody who plays Smite knows that Nike is coming and the Celtic Pantheon was announced. Okay, <laughs> it's like oh, all man, over their Corey, fucking website. Corey, we're for all the, gods, for the, and the, the best team. Will be Bridget. <laughs> there will be what's it called. The best Nike, Bridget just one Nike, Shadow. and everyone else in the arena just stays in their fountain, and Nike wins. Okay, <laughs> that's just do it. <laughs> Victory. <laughs> Start the game. Victory. Soulless project, not as fulfilling as you'd want, but it's worth ten bucks. Song of the Deep, don't care. Star Trek Online, that other fucking MMO that came out five or six years ago that nobody cares about. And also, I only wanted to point out that the game was released everywhere in the world except Canada at the same time on the Xbox. Canada had to wait 48 hours. I don't know why, there was some licensing dispute or something, but we had to wait. Not that I was that excited, but, you know, just saying. <laughs> I, wanted to, I wanted to make a video, and then it was like, haha, just kidding. I bet millions of people were disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 like tens of people, Canada. tens of people were disappointed. The whole of Canada were in, were in uproar of how this game <laughs> was in 40 hours wait. The king and queen of Canada were very displeased in, that, in how the peasants delayed the game, okay? They dipped their arms in puddings, as was tradition, and continued on. Okay. Alright. State, <laughs> state of Decay. <laughs> we already talked about State of Decay. No, wait, no we didn't. We yeah, talked we about no, we talked about the other zombie game. This is the game that my buddy told me to play. It's actually a lot of fun. And I would highly recommend it, especially for fifteen bucks. So they fixed a lot of the frame rate issues they were having before. 
Um, but the game was very well done. Um, it's it's the one where it's a zombie survival game, but you, you get like a group and you have to build your survival camp and then go out for supplies, playing as one person at a time. But if that person dies, then you just play as a different person, and at any point you can play as a different person in your tribe. Oh, that's the game? Yeah, it's a really fun game, but there's a lot of destruction physics and stuff in there. And he said it was a lot of fun. It was just, it didn't look very good. Like, it looked very basic for a 360 game. And they fixed a lot of that, I guess, with State of Decay Year One on the Xbox. So, I would recommend it for 15 bucks. I'll be very honest about that. I am going to pick it up eventually and, uh, you know, get to it. Okay, we're going to skip Subnautica. It was free for game preview. You get an hour to play. Go play an hour of it and make up your own minds. All right, Star Wars Battlefront. Oh, my God. <laughs> Best game, NA. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Kill yourself. Don't and I don't mean that lightly. <laughs> no, okay, okay, okay. We're Actually, just I'm gonna take that back. I can't say that. Star but. Wars is the second best game. Best game is the Telltale Games collection. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> like, look at that D hundred ten look at that down to twenty seven. Look how white that old. background is. White. You know what that that looks like? Some sort of colored privilege. What color is that? White. <laughs> yeah. White privilege. That's white privilege. Like Star Wars Battlefront is pure white privilege. <laughs> All right, we're really That's going to hell now. Telltale collection. It's not white privilege. There's way white. more reasons why. <laughs> yeah. The Telltale Games collection. To, oh, god. Movie games oh my god. For a good price. Like, just... You know, I, I don't know what would be worse, if you made me play the Telltale Games Collection or Star Wars Battlefront. Hey, come on now. <laughs> <laughs> All those games in that Telltale Games Collection is good. I think I'm, I'm going to go with Star Wars you Battlefront can, walk because I game would actually jump game off a bridge. And Game of Thrones. <laughs> Okay. I have one of those games in a Tale Hill I would force you to play the Borderlands Telltale Games collection. <laughs> just Borderlands. No, 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 no. She finds the make worst sure. of them all. And make get, sure you make do a certain... Play all the Telltale games. And you got, and no, no, you've got Borderlands on first, and you've got, you got to get a certain route, because there's different routes you can take in the game, like your know, like, love interest, so you got to get a certain route as well. Oh, God. Oh, if you don't get that route, we'll be playing again. And again, you get it. <laughs> and, and you get so angry because you hate Borderlands, you gotta grind it. And in Borderlands, in that game, there's like four different routes you gotta take. You make one mess up, you can't go the same route again. So you have to grind the Telltale games of Borderlands, which is even worse than the Borderlands grind itself. So you will kill yourself. Well. <laughs> yeah, probably. Suicide happening <laughs> soon. Not to take away from anybody that has mental issues, but there you go. <laughs> Um, the crew, you know, that MMO that you paid full price for to play online for free? And, then it and drive cars <laughs> across their version of America, which includes spending two minutes driving between Chicago and St. Louis. <laughs> yeah, it's not how it works. It's a half hour drive across the U.S., guys. I, I recommend it. <laughs> I, I recommend the drive. Really? Get in your car, start in California, and see how far you get in half an hour. Oh, by the way, in that game, there's already a wall between the U.S. and Mexico, so Trump wins. <laughs> Trump, actually, the crew predicted Trump. Yeah. They predicted his Mexican policies. What, what, what are you Before. saying, Ubisoft? Maybe Trump was playing the crew, and he was like, that's a good idea. I should talk about that. <laughs> but you can drive to yeah, Canada, and then it's just like, whoa, we, we didn't make the map that big. <laughs> Alright. Oh god, we're gonna talk about the division now. Things let down, guys. No. Third person destiny. Way more fucking money spent than you would actually need to. If you don't buy the DLC, get wrecked, son. And the single player was okay. <laughs> the wife really wanted it for the single player, so. Yeah. I was actually hoping for more of a bigger single player commitment to that game. I didn't know when they first announced it that it was going to be um, 
well, I, I, I don't want to call them MMOs because by the standards of MMOs, Destiny and The Division suck. <laughs> and by the, by the standard of shooters, they suck. So, want, but I'm if you had to pick one, it's not a massive multiplayer game, is it? Four players, three players. But there's like Max hundreds players. of other people online at the same time. So, yeah, but you, you can't play that many at once, can you? In I guess not. At maximum, you can play in like, make, say like you could you could say eight max. That's very very lucky. Most time you play three, three majority of the time, but. It yeah, but in yeah, okay, it's fine. In Destiny, you can have eight, but if you go to like any other MMO, even the party up system means that you can only have up to like six usually, or four depending on the game. Like Star Wars Online. Yeah, but I'm saying like, or the Old Republic. Sorry, max, max will be as as, as the, have you ever seen one place. But it, it'll be free the highest. Well, that's because, because nobody place. plays the division okay. anymore. <laughs> We can't, we can't say 8 is the maximum amount of people online. It means that, like, 8 people are playing the game. That's it. No one else. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> there were so many trolls, they killed the series. Good job, Ubisoft. Yep. Speaking of MMOs, let's compare it to Elder Scrolls Online. Right beside it. This was the biggest piece of crap. Because everybody wanted multiplayer Skyrim. And then... Yeah. Okay. So when the, they were like fine, well, people were like, we don't like. It. Yeah, but the thing is, the console version is not as fun as the PC version, and it's just because of the macros, right? Like, there's only so many key bindings you could do to a controller. Whereas with, actually, don't sell that to Neverwinter because Neverwinter has this craziest amount of key bindings I've ever seen. Like, hold LB, and then all of a sudden, every button does something else. It's insane. <laughs> <laughs> like. Or I think it's hold like one of the directions on the D-pad, and then every button does something else. I don't know, it's been a while. Yeah, it's quite crazy. It, but that's cool that they did that. But I mean, like, it would have been a lot easier if you just had a keyboard and mouse. So, yeah. The problem is that when the beta came out for Elder Scrolls Online, my cousin and I sat down to play it on PC, and we were like, "We're going to do the quest to Skyrim," only to realize how freaking large that was and that the beta map wouldn't let you into um, Skyrim essentially <laughs> we started uh, near that one city I can't remember and we started moving towards uh, what's the one with the thieves guild in Skyrim in the southeast I can't remember that town but that's that's where we were going and we got to the edge and then there was an invisible wall and it was such an amazing journey we worked so hard to survive getting there at level 11 <laughs> that we were sorely disappointed when the full game came out and we stopped like and the other thing was like they they messed with us right the full game came out and they were like okay in order to get your free month you have to automatically buy the month after that cuz we know you're not going to do it after you just spent like seventy dollars on this game, you have to give us more money, and we did, and we were disappointed, and we canceled our subscriptions. And they're like, "Why are so many people canceling their subscriptions? And why is their player base like nothing after a month? Because your game wasn't good." <laughs> yeah, it wasn't worth the money you put into it. Yeah. Now multiply that by like the thirty million people on Xbox One, and you got the console version. <laughs> it just died. <laughs> There are people, like, I did p finally pick it up. Uh, it won't let me transfer my stuff from my PC version anymore, like they said they would. Um, the $20 promotion to get the game when it came out never worked. I just, it was a letdown. But every once in a while on the PC, I'll still pop it in. I actually just bought it for achievements. I should have looked first because the achievements are insane. Like, become king or emperor? Like, are you crazy? <laughs> <laughs> like, who thought that was a good achievement? Hey, you know what we should do to fuck with it? Make it so that, like, literally four people ever will get this achievement. <laughs> yeah, there was, what, what was the, there was a game of, um, the old Tom Clancy, the future soldier, how, the, the achievements come, like, top five, weren't they? Yeah. Like, In the world. Yeah, g good luck. You know what you do? You wait till, like, a week before the server shut down, and you jump on that game, and you get there. <laughs> you hack it and then the server shuts down you get the achievement and you don't care that's, 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 
<laughs> Gee, why is she not doing that? And then there's the evil within. You know what? Like, honestly, like, there's just like so much. It, the Evil Within's a horror game. I don't like horror games. You guys say whatever you want. It's like Outlast, except with guns. <laughs> Boom. Done. Anything else? Good. Move it on. Cool. I'll play it. I'll play it. All right. The Touring War Machine. Nope. Skip. Skip. Titanfall 2. The greatest design shooter of this season. Nobody playing it. <laughs> In fact, on here, it has five out of five stars. That's how good it is. Titanfall One was, yeah. Well, Titan well Titanfall fun. One was a disappointment because they kept giving it out for free. They were shoving it down our throats and we stopped caring. So here we are at Titanfall Two, and they're like, "Oh yeah, by the way, no problems." Yeah, Pretty sure everyone's just sick of war right now. On, on, on the EU, on the, on the, 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 on the, on the Europe store, what UK store? Six hundred eighty-six five stars. What? There's three one-star reviews. One two star review, twelve three star reviews, four twenty eight four star reviews, and six hundred eighty six five star reviews. That's trolls. That's how you know trolls did the review. There's nobody that ever bought Titanfall two, and and then went and there was like this game is garbage. The campaign was short as balls. I mean, but there was still a campaign. I beat the campaign in like four and a half hours, and. I went back and I got a bunch of achievements, but I was like, that's cool. I still haven't really gotten into the multiplayer, but the multiplayer is the Call of Duty that all the Call of Duty fanboys wanted and didn't get in Infinite Warfare. And then Activision's over there like, well, how come our game's not doing so well in sales? And the answer is Titanfall 2. The problem is, then their game started picking up in sales and people started stopped playing Titanfall 2. Or they were playing Battlefield 1. Which which sucks. Yeah, yeah. EA really should have spaced this out. We should have gotten Titanfall two next year. That would have been perfect. Battlefield one, I then Titanfall. Battlefield one, then Titanfall. I Boom. Think this should have made time for possible Titanfall two, either that or like say mid December. Give it a bit like a month or so. Months yeah, you know what? Now. That's true. Because then a lot, like how many people are almost done Battlefield one? Exactly. Right. That I got. Would be would have calmed down. Late November-ish, early December, this, and it's Christmas time. Yeah. Oh look, level two's coming out. Well, Battlefield One, you have seven classes you can get to rank ten to unlock special weapons. That's it. So you have your four core classes, then the tank class, the pilot class, and cavalry. And okay, fine, you get your seven classes. Each one with grinding, playing daily, you can actually achieve in about a month to get all of them. Sorry, not each one, but all of them. So, there's really, you know, once you're done that, then what are you going to play? Well, Titanfall 2. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> TNMT, skip. Rainbow Six Siege, skip. We're not going to talk yeah. about Rainbow Six, or The Division again, or Tomb Raider again, because we've already Rainbow talked Six. about them. Rainbow Six is Rainbow Six. It's not, right. it, it's not Rainbow Six, Ve or like Vegas and Vegas 2. It's just its own game. Enjoy it as you wish. It's better on PC anyways. Moving on. We're going to skip, skip, unravel that game that no one remembers. <laughs> Valley. That other game that is actually really well done, but is still uh, an indie game that no one cares about. Yeah. I don't even know what video ball. I'm not even bothered watching. Watch Dogs. Biggest letdown of the century. The Witcher. Yeah. Surprise. Okay, The Witcher 3 is fantastic. Yeah. The, you can't... There's really nothing you could say is bad about The Witcher. No, like, what's called the um, gameplay is fantastic, the story is fantastic. Yeah, choices are great, and, the, and it's even the combat. The, the combat is fa fun as hell. Like you just, yeah. I, the, if there was one complaint did, about cool. The Witcher Three, just one, it's that while we got all this free DLC and we got the two extra paid DLC, I wish there was more places to view. I like, yes, it's based on a book. But okay. I want to see more. And that's it. I just want to see more. I don't want them to release The Witcher 4. I want them just to make more DLC with more places to explore and more stories to tell. That's that's how good this game is. It is the Skyrim of, of, of RPGs in third person. It out Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed. Yeah. You really can't improve the game. No. Everything was perfect by it. So... And that's very rare. 
So thank you yeah, it's very for rare. making The Witcher. Yeah, All right. I, for twelve quid, pick it up. Yeah. <laughs> don't even Do no, it. not even not even like twelve quid. Go out there and like mail them a check for the full eighty dollars and be like, because I believe in you. This game is so good; it's worth hundreds of dollars. And they're like, no, 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 no. Please take it with our compliments and for like a much much lower price. We're not greedy. Here's a great game that you will play forever. Boom. Done. Yeah. It was just great. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not... Like, both of these Wolfenstein games... Like, I, Enemy Territory was my favorite because it was free. It was just the multiplayer. And, but I remember the multiplayer was so much fun. Just sitting there and... If the servers are still available, I'm, I'm going to actually take a look later and see if I can get that game and, and do a video on it. Because it's a fantastic shooter. Um, it, it's just a fun arcade shooter, though. It is not serious by any stretch of the imagination. This was like Medal of Honor Allied Assault time. So before Call of Duty, because the guys that <laughs> made Call of Duty were making Medal of Honor. <laughs> and, you know, it was a good competitor. And then it just kind of meh. So, yeah. you know, it just like, pick it up. Say, but if it was like released a bit, I think if, I say if it was released like now, it would be a bit more popular. But back, back then, it was a bit more competitive market. But then, yeah. it was a bear overall. Supernatural so. Nazis. There you go. Done. But the thing is, Wolfenstein in the New Order is actually an alternate history that's like really changed history, right? The Yes, the, the occult stuff from the, the first three games were not the same. Uh, as what went down in history, obviously. But at least it was close enough that you could still believe it. The New Order is just like, okay, this is if the Nazis won and had supernatural powers. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we already have a game, the, what was it, Liberty, or the Fall of Liberty, or something like that, that talks about if um, the Germans won Europe and, and invaded the US. So, never finished it. I should go back to that game. Actually, I'm going to start a series of playing all those ridiculous amount of 360 games, and that's it'll be in there. One of the early ones. Uh, WW27 Skip. Worms. It's Worms. Like, if you don't know what Worms is by now, then you need to buy it and play it. <laughs> <laughs> so. XCOM so. 2. I can't say anything bad about it, or the people that play with me will no longer play with me. So go buy it. <laughs> Now the 360 game. No, we're not. We're not doing not the 360 so games because they're just 360 games. That's it. Then. Yeah, that's it. There we go. We finally finished the list. Just as he comes back. <laughs> Soul <laughs> Caliber. Buy Soul Caliber. Yes, buy Soul Caliber. And born because if you were, <laughs> like, how dare you were born after arcades were a thing? <laughs> oh, I remember being 13, going to an arcade and being like, Soul Caliber. And dude, ra some random person in there showed me how to play Killick, and like we played to get like we fought against each other for I think about four hours. It was like a sixteen-year-old kid, and he just taught me how to play. And then I've loved the Soul Calibur series ever since. So, not enough to put it above the other fighting games for some reason, but that's just because it's been letting me down since Soul Calibur three. So there you go, that is the Black Friday sales list. Not sponsored by anyone because we're too vulgar for anyone yeah, to care about. Yeah. There's actually more, but I don't need to go through that yet. It's the, no, 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 that's not it. No, this is it. This is it. We're not, there's nothing else. What are you, what are you saying? More offers. Where? I think. No, these are the whole, this is the whole list. This is the whole list. This is, this better be the whole list. <laughs> so the whole summary of the sale is... Not worth it. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. There's there's a few good deals in here. There's a few games that if you didn't yeah. pick up, pick them up. There's a few games that if you waited, now's the time to capitalize on it. There's other games that you're just like, this is. St they're just trying to remind you that this game existed. Like, Trials of the Blood Dragon was free. So, don't buy it because it was free. <laughs> it will be free again. Um. 
The Witcher 3 is the only one that we're like, yeah, if you haven't played it by now, we're going to find you and slap you yeah. with like wet noodles because it was so good. Yeah. In fact, I, f I feel like after this I want to go back and play more of it. <laughs> So, yeah, yeah. Especially to Gwent. To Gwent is awesome. And, and now Gwent is a free game coming to your phones and computers <laughs> know, and yeah. stuff, and you can play online together, and I'm I like, have, I love you. It's pretty good. I didn't play the beta, because I'm a horrible human being. I actually suck at Gwent. I can never win. I went against the easiest person in Witcher 3 and lost I, I twice. The, I won the, the main tournament. Gwent. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I don't know how it works properly. I know it's rock, paper, scissors with weather, but, like, I just can't win. And when I think I'm going to win, no, I fucked up somewhere and I lose. Oh, man, Fallout 3 in New Vegas are on here. Meh. All right. So there you go. So in conclusion, there's like twenty dollars worth of stuff, <laughs> <Yeah>. and Basil's DCing, <laughs> and, and there you go. Go spend your Xbox money, or you know what is a better one? Actually, just go on Steam. Steam has an amazing like Black Friday sale on right now, and that's a much better deal. And next review coming up will be uh, sales on Steam. <laughs> yeah, no, we're not. No, because that list is like eighty times bigger. <laughs> I don't know how anyone finds anything in the Steam sales. Okay, it's just like Steam tells you what you want to see because everything else is there. And if you want to go look through it, you're more than welcome to. But good luck ever finding your sanity again. <laughs> so, with that, oh, I got a random message. Cool. Thanks, Savage T Bear. I feel like it's not going to be a good message, so I'm not going to open it just now. But thank you, and good night. Okay, you give that game a bad review.